Hi everyone, I am so excited. I'm having a little snack. It is so gloomy in here. I know you can hardly see me. I'm sorry. Not a lot I can do about that because it is so gloomy today. But anyway, I went and got a new salted caramel original glazed Krispy Kreme donut because I have seen them on the app and I am very, very in need of one, especially on a gloomy day. And I have a coffee to go with it. I just made this at home because I didn't want to get a takeaway coffee because I didn't want to get the plastic lid and the non-recyclable cup. But I just discovered uh, when I got home that you can actually get, I didn't see it in store, I saw it on the app, you can actually get a reusable 7-Eleven cup now, so I will try those in the future. Okay, should we just jump in? Such a good day for a donut. Okay, so this is the original glaze with apparently salted caramel inside. Let's see if it really is salted or just caramel. I'm going to take a bite where the stripes are. Mm. So far I mostly just got donut. I got a teeny hint of caramel. I guess I'm just going to have to have another bite. Mmm. Okay. Okay, we're dripping everywhere. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Very sweet. But with a little bit of a bite to it. It must be the salted part. But I, I don't understand where the caramel's coming from because... Okay, look here. Looks like it's coming out of the middle, right? But what middle? What is this magic? So, how? How did they get the caramel in there? There's lots of caramel underneath though. Did they pipe it in? I mean, how does this science work? Okay, I'm pulling it apart. Okay. It's definitely in there. Can you see that? <laughs> Such a good donut muddle. It's definitely in there. Anyway. Mmm. It's good. It is completely falling apart. But I feel like that's just part of the party. Like it's meant to fall apart. And it just kind of makes me want to eat it really fast. But I'm not going to do it. I went for a donut today because I wanted to feel really cozy and warm and relaxed. So I'm going to slow down and take some of my coffee and sip some of my coffee. Take a sip of some of my coffee. Not take some of my coffee. Where am I planning on taking it to? Mmm. You know when coffee is just at that level where it's it's just a tiny bit too hot to drink, so you, you have to slurp it a little. You know, that's not an etiquette thing. You just don't have a choice. But it's just so... Like it just, when you drink it at that level, you can feel how warm it is going all the way down and it's just luxuriously comforting. That's where my coffee is right now. It's not scalding hot. Scalding, scalding. It's not super hot. But it's perfect. Okay. Here's my dilemma. Am I going to eat the side with no caramel stripes or the side with caramel stripes? Okay, here's how this works. In my family, half of us like to save our favourite part to last because we want to end the dining experience with the best memory possible. Now, the other half of my family likes to eat their favourite part first because then we know we've had our favourite part and we don't have to worry that we're going to get too full and won't be able to eat our favourite part later. That's me. So I'm going to go for the stripes. Let me know in the comments which one you are. Do you leave your favourite till last or do you eat your favourite first? There's no wrong answer. <laughs> it's just how I do it. Mm. 
Okay. I feel like this one doesn't have any more caramel in it than this one does. So really, I can't lose. They're both good halves. One has stripes, the other one has the center. Mm -hmm. I can hear some thunder rolling and I love it. Love stormy weather. Mm, I was wrong. That, that looks pretty. I think I could be wrong and they might have tried it before and I've just never tried it but I feel like piped caramel inside the donut would have worked better with a ball donut instead of a ring donut. So 7-Eleven if you're watching I'd love to try a ball shaped donut with the original glaze and the salted caramel in the middle and the stripes on top. Man, I don't ask for a lot. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, it goes so well with the coffee. Caramel, coffee. I don't put sugar in my coffee, so it's not too sweet. All right, let's finish you off before the kids get home and watch you. Don't worry, I have finger buns for the kids, but they're homemade. This treat was just for me. Because sometimes you just need a little something just for you. Mmm. I don't think I've ever had a bad donut. I think that maybe Donut King are my favorite donuts. But Christy, Christy, sorry all the Christies that I know. <laughs> Crispy cream donuts are, oh, they're either my second, third or fourth favorite. So my favorite is Donut King because I really like just the simple little rings with the pink icing and the sprinkles or the caramel icing and the sprinkles. So it's a real cakey donut. I really like that. They're more, they're like really dense, doughy donuts. Krispy Kremes are beautiful, but they're, they're more fluffy and air-filled, so you can get a really good bite down into them, but there's less of them in terms of density. Um, so I love them both, but Donut King wins. And then there's just the good old cinnamon donut that you can get just from Culver Woolies. Where you buy a pack of 12 for, I don't know, two, three dollars, and then try not to eat all of them in one go. Those are really good. They freeze well too. And then there's homemade donuts. Oh, homemade donuts. I make these beautiful homemade donuts. I don't want to, I don't want to brag, but they're amazing, but it's not my recipe, so it's okay if I brag. They're, it's an Ina Garten recipe. I've cooked them live on Beautifully Organized on Facebook before. And they're amazing. They're just a really simple bait. I don't know how close that thunder was then. It's going for ages. I'm going to have to meet the girls at the bus stop with their raincoats. Anyway, so this donut recipe, it's a really simple baked donut recipe. And then the beauty of it is you can eat it by itself or you can coat it in butter and cinnamon sugar or... I make this lemon glaze that's literally just icing sugar and lemon juice from a lemon, not from a bottle, from a lemon. I mean, either would work. Um, and I make a lemon glaze and I drizzle that on the donut. And then I have that with a cup of tea and it is amazing. So I think that's my second favorite. I think Donut King's my first, homemade is my second. Third, Oh, I want to say Krispy Kreme because they put so much effort into them. But I think maybe the cinnamon donuts because I go back to those more often. 
And then fourth is going to have to be Krispy Kreme. So Krispy Kreme, I'm sorry guys, you're going to need to up your game a little. But I did really enjoy this one today. Mm. Let me know in the comments, what's your favourite kind of donut? Is there any that I haven't mentioned? I vaguely remember as a kid getting, like sometimes for a treat, our mum... I hope this is a real memory and not just a dream I had that I made up in my head. But I vaguely remember getting my mum getting frozen strawberry donuts, you know, like the ball shape with the jam in the middle, and frozen chocolate donuts from our local supermarket. And so she'd keep them in the freezer and then we could have them as treats now and then. I hope that's, I really hope that's a true memory because it's a really good one. I have a very bad memory and sometimes I don't know if I'm making up memories or if they're actually true. <laughs> But if they're good ones, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Oh. Okay, the rain has started. Yeah, it's really started, not pouring down, but that sort of constant, consistent pitter-patter on the roof. My cat has curled up and fallen asleep near the window. Not tons of lightning though, for all the thunder I've been hearing. Or maybe I just didn't see it. But yeah. Hmm. This is going to be such a good afternoon. I've got a few little jobs to do. I'm going to put a load of washing on, take care of some dishes, uh, make the beds because I went out today and did some work and didn't get a chance to do a tidy up. But that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to read a book for the rest of the afternoon and get as cosy and snuggly as possible. Oh, no, maybe when the girls come home, I'll see if they want to play a game. Yeah. I'm going to go for cosy. Maybe play the piano for a while. Mm -hmm. I love, I love, love, love afternoons at home where you just get to be comfy and cosy and, yeah. Anyway, I better go. <laughs> I'm going to go finish my coffee, play a bit of the piano, do a couple of jobs, and then enjoy the rest of my day. Really hope you enjoy your day too. Thank you for joining me for my donut experience today. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love you to hit subscribe and join me for another video. If you tap the notification bell, you'll get an email or a notification on your phone every time I upload. So you You okay, Lily? It's just thunder, darling. Come on. Lily is on high alert. Did you hear that? I better go before it gets really noisy from the rain. All right, if you tap the notification bell, you'll get a notification every time I upload so we can spend more time together. And hit thumbs up if you like this video or if you like donuts, hit thumbs up then um, and comment below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Oh, Lily, it's just me, it's just me. She freaked out then when I tried to pat her. She's down next to my leg. All right, everybody, I'm going to go. This part of my hair is bugging me and that's all I can see right now. It's weird the things you notice when you're on video. Okay. Aw, little, little pat. Poor little darling. She's only a year old. Maybe a year and a half, I don't know. All right, I'm really going this time. I will see you in the next video, everybody. Bye.